Welcome to AW Services. Today's video is back to core basics really. Exterior cleaning, gutters, fascias and soffits. With many newcomers into the industry, they're looking to buy equipment. What What's best for you might not be best for someone else, etc, etc. And you can also go on the forums and be spoon fed lots and lots of advice. Don't buy this, don't use that. This is rubbish, this is your best. Do what makes you happy and use what equipment works for the job in hand that you're doing. And also don't be ashamed to try and make your own kit, providing it's safe. And number two, it does the job in hand. That's all you need to worry about. I needed a short pole for doing a bungalow gutter fascias and soffits clean. All of my poles are between 25 foot and 40 feet. And when you're at a bungalow, it's just too much to have such a long pole closed. It's nearly eight feet long and you're tripping over it because as it is collapsed, it's too long. So I thought I'd make a pole just especially for one job because my DA applicator nozzle, I can take that on and off very quickly and put that onto a longer pole if I wish to do so. Standard basic angle adapter about nine pounds and also the pole it isn't telescopic it's a one-piece aluminium pole so with this pole here this is made by Robert Scott janitorial supplies uh, it's an aluminium universal broom and mop handle aluminium um, construction nice soft plastic handle on that end and it, the good tip is the actual thread on the end is a euro 22 acme thread so that's the same coarse thread that you get on all water fed poles so for one job this short pole with my own body height it's perfect it's lightweight and it's so much easier than lugging around a 22 foot 30 foot 40 foot pole to do a job at seven feet off the ground so all i've done is put a hole in there i've drilled filed and then with a reamer, I've smoothed it all out and deburred that. In the end of the actual handle of the pole itself, I've drilled a hole and I fed the hose up through the pole. It already has the screw thread on the pole, so I've added an angle adapter, my DA components applicator nozzle, some hose um, up through the end, and that's it. You know, I've made something. I like to be able to make, adapt and use what equipment I have. And if I haven't got something and I can't get it quickly, make it. Don't be ashamed to try and make things or try and adapt to the circumstances in hand, basically. So I've got a nice angle adapter, DA applicator on the end. That yellow rubber bushing is a soft PU rubber, like a grommet. And I've put that on there because then that stops the actual quick release from releasing if you knock it. And I found that a lot of the like the John Guest style retainer clips that you get in the little horseshoe clips, they're rubbish, they fly out and you lose them anyway. So that's just a piece of soft rubber that protects the collar, stops it from being knocked. Piece of PU hose up the middle and it's a nice ultra lightweight pole and specifically for one job but again if you need something try and make it don't be ashamed of what the trade says don't follow the rules don't be the person that copies the last person break the mold try something new and if you're good with some tools and you've got spares and lots of spare bits and bobs like hoses adapters make your own i think to make this it's cost me absolutely nothing I've got a box of about 150 of these broom sticks and these broom handles I had from a massive contract I did years ago and they were going to go in a skip so I kept them all. I've always got lots and lots and lots of spare hose. doesn't matter if it's yellow PU hose, it doesn't have to be the ultra non-kink and you know 80 pounds a meter hose. It's only for cleaning gutters, fascias and soffits. This hose has always worked well for me. It's not too elastic -y. it's not too hard, and it suits my needs for what I need to do. But I just thought I'd share that video with you, give you some inspiration, 
into ideas about making your own kit. You can make your own water fed poles. There's a lot of things you can do, but also with this pole as well, once I've done a gutter fascia and soffit clean, I can use then that for then spraying. You know, if I wanted to use some hypo on something, or if I wanted to use a biocide um, for going around paths and driveways prior to a pressure washing job. Just a short video, give you an idea. But if you like the video and it helps you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or you'd like to know anything feel free to comment below hit the bell icon so you get notified as and when i post a new video and if you'd like to support aw services please subscribe it helps my channel massively it help produce more videos and then i'll be able to share more content with yourselves thank you very much for watching and take care bye bye